Hello guys, Austin again, and I know that I am so overdue for a new video, but I've been very very busy with life recently, but don't worry guys, I promise you guys that I have a bunch of unedited footages that will make for a very exciting upcoming project. In the meantime, to make it up for you guys, I decided to take some old videos for the crown that I made like six months ago god i can't believe it at first i decided not to edit it and publish it because i don't think it would make for great videos but now i think it would be a very easy project for you guys especially that halloween is coming and this would make for a great accessory for your halloween costume if your theme that you're going for is king or queen of the medieval time so let's jump right into it okay so what i'm having right here is three different types of metal filigree that i ordered from aliexpress i assume that they are made from aluminum but yeah they're pretty bendable and it's gonna be super easy for crown making i believe that you guys can follow along my tutorial and make this for yourself quite easily and it didn't even take too much time compared to my other crowns which takes me from two to three weeks to make this only took me like three days i'm using e6000 glue and a quick tip for you guys if you are wondering what type of tip that i'm using with the e6000 glue you know that the, the tip of the e6000 glue is awful because it's not thin enough it's not it's not precise enough for pretty much any crafting job so yeah, I just took the nozzle from another tube of glue and I glued it to the cap of the E6000 and it worked pretty well. Alright, so the glue has set and we can release the frame and now to turn it into the circular shape of a crown you're gonna use some cylindrical thing I'm using a type of protein powder no, actually it's creatine powder I use a lot of supplement for fitness well, anyway anyway, I was not happy with the shape after using the tub because the circumference is way too big so I moved on to using a smaller jar and that would give more curveness to the frame. Ta da the frame is finished psych not quite visually it's finished but structurally it's not strong enough it's still way too weak to wear as a crown so i'm taking this wire headband and the idea is to bind that wire and the frame together to make the frame more structurally stable it's more strong and it's more flexible too actually and to do that, we're not gonna use glue because glue is not strong enough for any structural work. So I'm using copper wire. 20 to 24 gauge wire is ideal for the job. I'm sure that it look quite confusing. So to make this easy, just imagine that you're using string to tie the wire and the frame together. But instead of using strings, you're using wire. I hope that makes sense because I have no idea how to put this down to words. So while I'm working on wiring the structure of the frame, if you guys are interested in this type of crown making, which involves a lot of filigree and metal charms and just attach them together to create the frame, then I very recommend you to check out one of my previous crown videos, The Squid God Crown. I'm gonna link the video in the description box and I'm also gonna put it inside of this i button.
So click it. Click it, click it, click it. And this is how it looks after it's finished. We can move on to the final part of the frame making, which is the adjustable part of the crown. And honestly, this is the part that I hate the most when it comes to instructing. But no worries, my four previous crown videos, I used the same adjustable mechanism for the crown. So you can check them out if you, if you really, really want to make this crown. Because I'm sure you just here to watch me do it and you're never gonna make this. Tell me, am I right? But yeah, I included very clear and detailed instruction in those video. But for now, I'm just over, completely over with this same process. And there we go, a functional structure frame of the crown. And now it's my favorite part, as you guys all know. We're gonna bling bling the crown because you can't call a crown a crown without some gemstones on it. So to be consistent with the European Middle Age theme, I picked out a selection of rhinestones. Start with these red rubies. Well, I'm gonna link to these sizes later in the description box for you guys. This is gonna be the center stone on the crown. To squeeze out a dollop, a little bit of glue goes a long way. You don't want any glue to ooze out because that's gonna be messy. And I don't like messes. Then on the butterfly, I picked out this Marquis blue stone. Marquis? Marquis. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, take a shot every time I mispronounce a fancy word. And some sapphire for the crosses. And finally, this pear-shaped white diamond. I'm talking as if I'm using real diamonds and gemstones. But in fact, they're just rhinestones. There's plastic and there's glass rhinestones. I recommend that you go for the glass type. It should be more expensive, but the quality and the final result really, really worth it. And also, yeah, plastic rhinestones. If you use A6000 glue with them, the chemical in the glue could ruin the reflective surface of the rhinestones. And then we're done. Time for some B-roll montage. That was a fun, easy project that you guys can make to complete your cosplay or Halloween costume if your fantasy is being the ruler of a European kingdom in the middle of time or any time. I just made it because I like the look of this style of crown. 